Gag35.com LG MH1 Scooter battery Now he's got a video on how to take these apart But he's actually using a soldering iron To uh, uh, Get the BMS off It's actually Not necessary Oh and I forgot my intro It's Steven At his kitchen counter again Oh, and yes, I have a complete mess battery scattered all over the place. Um, alright. Now, uh, there's a couple of screws on the top. He showed that. Oh, where is my hobby knife? Uh-huh. Just cut the silicone out. On the top side of the screws. Believe me, there's plenty more screws in this thing, too. These cells are, I think, rated at uh, 3100 milliamp hour. Factory's got them rated at uh, 10 amp, but uh, that depends on. How much voltage you want to keep at that 10 amp? Uh, fully charged, fully charged cell with uh, 9.99 to be exact on current draw. On my test, dropped the voltage down to 3.5. 3.7 would be more ideal. So when you're building your battery pack, you may want to consider these cells at 8 amp and not 10. Um, so you won't lose so much voltage when uh, that current hits it. Oh, let's see. Oops, yep. Trying to keep this in frame. These these batteries are pretty long. There's that, that, yep. Give you an idea. In fact, a better idea is there's my hand. And there's my elbow. So yeah, they're long. Now, no one should have to care about this BMS. Um, let me go ahead and prep some other stuff. I'm keeping those rubber bumpers. They might come in handy on my current project. Has anything you can recycle? That's just money that you save for later. And besides these, I think these will have a pretty useful purpose. Along with this cardboard, this cardboard's really sticky. Um, I've got one. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. I've got this already put together, but I'm 3D printing the, uh, holder right now um, those pouch cells are going to take me quite a while what I'm printing for the pouch cells is this 
made this up myself. My printer bed is only 200 millimeter. The batteries are 210 millimeter. The idea came from this. So I've, I've got holes. I'll have to mount all these together with uh, lag bolts. Not lag bolts, but uh, threaded rod. And these cells you can get at batteryhookup.com. <clears throat> they are four bucks a piece. And they handle up to 200 amp, a uh, 400 amp surge. They're only 8 amp hour though. That's the downside. But for my project, um, these LG cells will be 24 amp hour at 80 amp. And if the bike calls up any more power required over 80 amp, well, let's not forget. Your load for current is the sum of all parts, not just one. I will admit, it's a bit annoying peeling this very sticky masking tape off. And to me, that's what it is, because it's kind of a cross between plastic and paper both. Yeah. Well, I won't be keeping that piece. Now, once you get the cells out of here, or if you want to use this mount style on another project, I suppose you could, just rip the BMS off of it if you need something for 20S. Personally, I'm doing 21, so 20S ain't going to cut it. I want all the voltage I can take without making my motor controller go uh, nuts. Alright, there's some screws. No, there's not. Okay. Folks, do not freak at what I'm doing. This is the third pack I've actually took apart. If you're careful, you won't short nothing out. All you gotta do is get underneath this piece of cardboard and pull it up. Okay, these strips are a little annoying to try and get up, so if you've got a small precision screwdriver, a small straight bit, you can go underneath catch a lip. Ow. Yeah. Mmm. That hurt. Cut my finger the other day trying to get one of my parts up off the bed. Some people are complaining that their part's not sticking. I'm complaining my parts are sticking too hard. I don't quite get that, but okay. I wish they'd stick a little less. Alright, pry your corners up, and if you got a small set of side cutters, even a larger set, I wouldn't go too big, but yeah, a little pair like this. Just roll that puppy around. Now, it's up to you if you want to take the original tab off. Personally, 
I don't want to deal with the little nub sticking up, so I'm trying my best to actually leave the original tab, factory tab on it. With the exception of what gets ripped off doing this. Um, it's still easy to weld if you're doing welding. And, ooh, do you see that? Spark fly. Um, and if you're doing soldering, well, it's nickel strip. For sure. Won't be any problem soldering to that. And plus, well, that's a factory weld that goes to it. And it gives you one extra layer of protection for when you're soldering. Because that nickel strip will get hot faster. let go if you don't cut the dumper wire going up there's from the BMS board there's wires that go up that connect the batteries to the to the BMS if you don't cut them you're gonna run into a little stubborn streak here and there just roll with it okay now next thing you need to get your tabs down so you don't gouge your thumb like I did earlier get in frame here Let's take a small straight screwdriver press the sharp tabs down get them flat because if you don't do it now, you have to do it after they're out of the package. <sighs> a little easier, but with it like this, they're all like a ducks in a row. Oh, look at that. Done cut myself. Ain't that lovely. Notice if you're doing it like this, for some crazy reason, the ones that get pulled up is the side that's away from you the most. Uh, for whatever reason, the side that's closest closest to you, the tabs don't pull up near as much. Haven't quite figured that one out yet, but okay, is what it is. Push these little tabs down. These cells actually have a really nice uh, plastic insulator on the positive side. It's plastic. Not cardboard. Plastic. It's like a Teflon piece. Now some of these you might have to give a little nudge if you keep the original factory tab on them. You might have to give them a little nudge flat after you pull them out of the pack. Now, the fun part. Oh, still got some tabs sticking up here.
tape off the battery. I ain't even gonna bother looking for the edge. It looks like it's right there. Oh. This is definitely not a Christmas present. With very pretty wrapper. This tape actually comes off fairly clean, unless it rips to pieces. Here's the wires to the BMS board. Screws it out, tape is off, little rubber bumpers are gone. Now, um, the step at uh, Je Jehu Garcia was showing was to unsolder these. But if you apply enough pressure on it, it's just a tad. It'll break off. No big deal. It'll be a little stubborn. But once you get it about right to here, right around halfway, you can grab that and just pull it up. Um, these parts that go inward are actually hooks that overlap the board to hold it in place. It's like a security thing to hold the board in better. And when you go in under this board, try not to pull the cardboard which is this stuff underneath it up. That way you stay safe. Just gotta find the edge of that board. That's it. Somebody's probably gonna be saying right about now, oh my god! <laughs> That's quite all right, because sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get something, and besides, these BMS boards are no good. All right, as a screwdriver, I think, yep, okay, I just got above that cardboard, try this out on both sides. Yeah, it's on those hooks. Oop. I don't want to be above that. Or battery side of that. Alright. Now, what I was saying earlier, that tab, you do not have to unsolder that tab. If you apply enough pressure, it will come up. And of course, the next thing is just going to get you is here and here, and here and here. But if you pull up and turn them at an angle, kind of twist them a little. Um, be firm and roll with it. Oh, look at that.
And, of course, my phone fell. All right, let's get you back up here. Okay, back in frame. Sorry, folks. You just happen to be in a danger zone. Pull it up just a little more. Boop. Nope. Right there. Now, I bought... How many of these? Five. I think they cost me $357 for five of them. But, that was for... 200 sales. Okay, next thing, there is screws all across the side. I mean, let's see. One here. And believe me, there's more than just two. Okay, back to the reference I said before. Same principle here for the bottom. Just get underneath the tab on the corner and pry it up to get that edge. Getting that edge up makes all the difference in the world. Shame we gotta destroy the nickel strip like that. I'm sure there's an easier way to not have to do that, but uh, for the sake of getting these things apart. Well. Destroy it is. Yep, you're still in frame. Okay. Yeah, back to the push the tabs down. If you don't push the tabs down, just don't forget, like I did, I really gouged my thumb earlier today. And it most certainly hurt. Of 
4th of July. The neighborhood is going nuts with the fireworks. Yeah, I don't want to hang piece out. Not like that. That is asking for a problem. Just take that one up. seeing very much of that happen. screws. Like I said, that's not the only screw that holds these together. And one at the very end. of your efforts. Yep, right there. That is it. Let's see, how long was the video? Uh, 26 minutes? Or 28? flip it around here 28 minutes that's about what it's taken me to get these apart well maybe 25 um, 25 to 30 minutes you can have one apart but you got 40 cells sitting here waiting to be used uh, I'm 3d printing printing all my part all my holders myself uh, just like that um, these are made differently than this, so they won't join together. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys gained a little info, and I made it look easy. Um, but you definitely do not have to pull a soldering iron out to get that BMS board off. Uh, those tabs will break, they'll pull right out. Takes a little effort. Just got to get used to the procedure. Okay. You people have a good one.